Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm really excited for today's video because as you can tell, I am in the kitchen and that means that this is gonna be a cooking with Liz video. I've made like three of these videos in the past, I think, and in those videos was a very naive person who lacked basic cooking skills. <laughs> But I'm happy to announce that the person standing in front of you today has basic cooking skills and actually enjoys cooking now. So, that's a plus. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. Here's the link. Um, I've been sort of on this cooking kick and I've been cooking almost every day or every other day. And I've been trying a bunch of new recipes. Pinterest is my safe place now. And cooking is now one of my favorite pastimes. What can I say? She's domesticated. So yeah, I have been using this time to expand my cooking list. I have an entire cooking list on my phone actually, dedicated to the recipes that I know how to make, and then I have a whole section of dishes that I wanna learn how to make. So I am like all in on this cooking thing. And if you guys want me to make more of these videos, or if you have any suggestions of foods you want me to make, or think I should try, please tell me, because I will probably make it tonight. <laughs> with that being said, today we are going to be making a pasta with vodka sauce. A little bit of vodka, a little bit of fun. I actually have never tried making this before, but pasta is one of my favorite foods to make. I feel like it's so versatile. It could be very casual or it could be something that you can make for special occasions like anniversaries, holidays, birthdays. I feel like it could go either way and it's such an easy dish to make no matter what you're making, I feel like. So, um, yeah. I have some water boiling behind me and it's boiling enough to the point where it's time to put in the pasta. So today we're gonna be using penne pasta, this type of pasta. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. I love this pasta. I'm gonna pour this in there and then I'll show you all the ingredients that we're gonna be using and all that. Ingredients, Parmesan cheese, garlic salt, pepper, salt, paprika, crushed red chili pepper, tomato paste, garlic, onion, heavy whipping cream. And the last ingredient, this is totally optional, but I'm gonna use this because the recipe calls for it. Vodka. Usually vodka is not my first choice of alcohol, so this is just what we had in the house. I'm just gonna be using a little bit, so I didn't wanna go out and buy a full bottle just for this. So while our pasta is boiling, it's time to start on the sauce. I'm gonna chop up half an onion. Most of the recipes that I saw for this did not call for onion, but one of them did, so I'm just gonna follow that one. You can totally skip this step if you want, but I like onion either way, so I feel like it's gonna be good either way. So I'm just gonna add it. So you're gonna want to finely dice up your onions. So you're just gonna use half of an onion and you want these as small as you can get them. So our pasta is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the heat. And before we strain the water out of this, make sure to grab a cup and just scoop a cup of the pasta water and save that for later. So now that I cut the onions and the garlic, it's now time to make the sauce. So you're gonna wanna get a skillet or a pan, whatever you have, and turn on the heat. You're gonna wanna get some oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, whatever you have or whatever you like, and drizzle some of that on the pan. I feel so professional, so official, you know? Except for the fact that uh, you're actually in my microwave right now because <laughs> this is the only angle that works uh, right in front of my stove. How does it feel to be in a microwave? Let me know in the comments down below. Once your oil is heated up, you're going to want to saute your onions first to get them nice and caramelized a little bit, make them fragrant. Once you saute those onions for like about two minutes, we're gonna add in the garlic, give it a nice saute action. After about another two minutes or so, you're gonna wanna take your tomato paste and get one tablespoon of tomato paste. We're gonna add this to the mix. Now comes the step that I have no idea if this is gonna make or break it. I have never cooked with like vodka or beer or anything like that. I've cooked with wine before actually, but never like liquor. So I'm kind of 
cured. Okay, so we're gonna take two shots of vodka, but we're gonna take one fourth like that. Ugh. Actually, I'm gonna put a little less. So I actually put a little bit less than one fourth of a cup. You do you, you do what you want. Okay, so far so good. The recipe says to let that simmer for 10 minutes, but I feel like that's gonna burn the onions and the garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next step and add our heavy cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one pint of heavy whipping cream. And then from here, I think we'll let that simmer for about 10 minutes. But first, we gotta add our spices. So our sauce is simmering. You wanna make sure that you're stirring this constantly. Don't forget to stir or else it might stick to the bottom and burn some of your sauce. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of all of our spices. Just to give you an idea, you can totally add more. Like I said, this is the first time that I'm doing this. So I don't even know if these are the right measurements or if I'd like to add more. I'll definitely let you know in the comments down below. I'm gonna add a little bit more than called for of the red chili flakes. But eventually it should start to look like this creamy orangey color. It looks so good. It reminds me of Cajun pasta. I also make such a good Cajun shrimp pasta. If you guys want that recipe, let me know. It is one of my favorites. Just putting that out there. <laughs> if there's one thing about me, it's that I love pasta and then I love shrimp. Shrimp is so good. Like, you can put it on anything. Sushi, Italian, Mexican food, Chinese food. All of the above, baby. That looks really good. And we're varying the end already, so like I said, this is super easy. Quick little meal for you and your family. A quick little anniversary dinner. You know, just something cute. Just keep it cute, keep it moving. Keep it cute, keep it moving. <laughs> we're about ready to add our pasta back to the pot. So before we do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of pasta water. Just do as you see fit because I'm not about to tell you do an exact measurement because I'm eyeballing that. Moment of truth, moment of truth. Here's my pasta. Oh, I didn't add Parmesan cheese. No! I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some on top because I didn't add any. So hopefully that cooks. But other than that, we are done. So I'm gonna quickly plate this and then I'm gonna do a little taste test and I'll tell you my final thoughts, my review, and all that good stuff. So here it is, penne a la vodka or pasta with vodka sauce. I added a bit of dried basil and parsley on top. I will say before I try this, my boyfriend tried this off camera like two minutes ago. I haven't tried it yet, but his official statement was, this is bomb, dude. This is bomb. So let's see if it is. <laughs> Mmm. Hold up. Let me just take a bow. Let me just do a curtsy. Let me just walk right out and start my own restaurant. That's so good. Mmm. I might just be cooking with vodka all the time. Honestly, you can't taste the vodka in this, and I'm so happy about that. It has a little bit of spice. It's super creamy. The onion adds that nice texture of like the crunch that pasta doesn't normally have. This is good all on its own, but I can only imagine how good it'd be with shrimp. Oh my gosh. Let me just add this to my dishes that I know how to make list really quick because damn, I'm gonna be making that a lot more often. My official review is that it indeed is bomb. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I think it's super good. 
I think that I would like it a lot more with some shrimp. But other than that, this is definitely a successful recipe. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Leave me a comment down below if you're gonna try this recipe or if you already have tried this recipe or if you have any recipes that you'd like me to try in the future. This is definitely one for the books. I'm so happy. And um, a lot more cooking videos to come if you guys want them. So that's it for this week's video. I'm gonna go eat the rest of my pasta and have myself a great night. And I hope that you do the same. As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Macaroni in a pot! That's some wet, that's some wet.